in this video is an update of the power boot or as you know it as the trunk if you have one of those and you've got v2 it has to be v2 for this update to work then the problem you'll face with the actual boot is when you go to close it like this and there's something in the way instead of it actually doing something to help you it jams and if you're not aware of that you could end up having a problem where it wouldn't actually you could go to drive off and you've actually got your boot open so that's going to be solved also if you've got a foot sensor and you had that fitted to the underside of the car under here somewhere where you stick your foot under like so and make it work finally if you go to the front screen and you go to press the button to actually open the boot or the trunk the ui doesn't show this it shows it as closed we're going to talk to raymond from tesla offer and we're going to find out why they did that how it's done and we're going to find out what's solving that too and all you're going to need for this is one micro sd an adapter and your computer and i'm going to take you right through all the features from start to finish so by the end of this video you will know everything and your car is going to be a lot better than it was at the beginning of this video stay tuned for that and i'm going to look at it right now mal's back talking tesla to see the enhancements made to my Tesla and how to update yours, please subscribe to the channel and you can message me with suggestions or for help. Okay, you're going to need your computer, the micro SD, the adapter that it comes in to make it fit to an SD card from a micro SD. Now, don't worry, I have all of this in description for you so you're going to be able to find everything that we talk about now. So. It'll all be there to help you. So you will need to be able to get the micro SD formatted on your computer. So if you haven't got this adapter, there may be an adapter that I will look up in the description for you that you can use to fit on your regular computer. For this computer and for many people's computers, there's a slot here. You slide it in and immediately you do that, it will be found. This is what it needs to be named update YST. It won't be like this. First thing you do when you plug it in and this isn't on there is you need to format the disk. So the way you do that, go into the search bar here, this PC, you find the unit there and you right click at this point and you see where it says format disk. You hit format and here is very important. This drop down menu FAT32, that's what it's got to be set to. If it's XFAT or NFTC, it won't work. So you pick the middle one, that's done, FAT32. You go down to the bottom, you make sure that this quick format is ticked, and then you press start. Immediately start, it will format it, and this will then be blank. You can reach out to, to EV Offer, and they will send you a link. And here's the link. You will link on it, and then it gives you, once it's downloaded, it'll be this. And it says 3T MK update 502W. You can see I've done it five times because I've made this video and I've edited it. But we, it'll only just say that one file. Now, what I've done next is rather than muck about on the uh, micro SD, which you could do, um, that, that's the simplest way, I've put it into a folder. Um, and I'm going to transfer it after. But I've created a folder to put it in. So if I into my little thing. And we're going to, I made it into documents. So it's there. And we're going to load it up. And it's, I'm going to edit it. Now to edit it to the right format that they want, they want it to say update.yst, you need to rename it, the file. So rename the file here. And then you want to get rid of everything and make it say update.yst. So what you do is start at this end first scroll over to the right like that then you can delete it and then you've got to get rid of all this bit in between of dot st so you come here and then you go like that and delete that and that says update dot yst next you're going to drag that into your 
folder. And it's asking me, do I want to save it? Yes, I do. So that's fine. It's going to save it. It's there. I want to drag that into my folder that is the SD card now, which is here. Copy it to the Tesla trunk E. That is what has come up on my drive. It will come up on your separate or something separate. Once you do that, it will be dragged and that will be your file. The next thing you do is you want to make sure you're going to take the unit out of the computer. Don't just unplug it because you can cause a problem and it could actually corrupt the disk. There's a little icon on your computer just here and you want to, it says safe to remove hardware and eject media. So you should go click on it, trouble click on it, like so. And it's giving you the option to remove. I've got, don't worry, I've got two um, hard drives in there. We're not worrying about that one for a minute. We're just going to take out the one SD card. So we're going to just go, yes, eject it. As soon as you eject it, it says safe to remove hardware. You can now quite happily unplug it without any problem. So we have it now. I'm going to talk to Raymond um, from EV Offer, um, who was formerly Tesla Offer, they've rebranded. And once we talk to Raymond, we're going to find out all about why this update's come about. So let's go to the car. Okay, I've got my fateful tester box that we're going to test after we flash the uh, control box with the new software. And if you've actually talked to uh, EV Offer, uh, known as Tesla Offer before, you may have spoken to Raymond. So we're going to talk to Raymond now and uh, find out all about this update. Hi, this is Raymond from Tesla Offer. Today we are releasing a new firmware for our electric trunk. In this new update, how many features have you got? So you will have three features. So with the old version, what was it like of the screen? Because it was quite unusual what you did. Previously, our trunk will show as closed if someone is sitting in the front seat. A lot of people find it very confusing because the trunk is opened, uh, but the UI shows that it is closed. So if it was so confusing for everybody, what was your reasoning behind it? Why did you do that in the first place? The reason why we make it close when someone is sitting in the front seat is because we want to enable the button so you can close it from the screen. Um, but since the UI is too confusing and not a good idea anymore, before it showed a top view so, so it doesn't uh, make a, a big concern. But uh, right now it, it's just uh, it doesn't, doesn't look good, so, so we, we, we released this update. Now people will ask, those that have got the old fashioned V1, the first one that you made, will they be able to get this latest update and make it work for the features? If you are using V1, you don't have this feature. It's only for V2 or above. So with this new update, can you explain what you need to do to actually make that uh, work? Right now, you can see the trunk is shown as opened, but if you need to close it from the touch screen, you just need to press on the brakes. So can you give us a little demonstration of that, please? That would be great for everyone to see. Thank you. So after you press on the brakes, so it will enable the button for you, so you can use this to close it. Now, since we've had the uh, facility of the new update to allow car wash, and those that had foot sensors had a real problem with that. Because uh, whenever they're having a car wash, uh, it might trigger the foot sensor. So we add a new feature. So in, uh, in order to deactivate the foot sensor, you, need, you can just uh, press on the emergency button here, the emergency flashlight, and you will disable the foot sensor. So whenever you are doing the car wash, you can, uh, uh, you can enable the emergency flashlight so you can disable the foot sensor. Right, basically, um, what I was going to ask now, with the new uh, trunk update, previously, you saw in the beginning of this video, it hits the box and it just catches it and it will stay there. And then basically what will happen is you won't, might not know, you might have just walked away from the car and found that you've just left it open or it's not quite closed and it's leaving the car into that vulnerable position. So what have you done now to help this? Yes version we will take it into another stage so so if you close it and you send something it will go back up so this is a more completed uh, anti-pinch feature so this will be released in together with this update well, thank you so much, Raymond, for your time with us today. Um, and bear in mind, if people need to get hold of you, um, they can use Telegram on your uh, contact uh, part of the website. It will show you the links to do that. So that's good too. And 
if you do want to get in touch with him, remember that in Beijing, it's quite a long difference. So if you were at 12 midday in UK, it's going to be at 8 p.m. there. And as you know, if, if he might take a while to get back to you because he could be eating his dinner. And then you think, well, why aren't you getting anything back? And the guy's sort of got to do that. Anyway, once again, Raymond, really appreciate this. And I hope uh, that's been helpful. Thank you so much. Hope you like, uh, like it. Thank you. Right, so now that you've seen how that works, let's show you how to flash the actual micro SD into the control box and the procedure that you need to actually make it work. And then finally, we're going to do the ultimate test and see that if I flash the software, everything's done okay, will it work on my box? And don't forget, if you've loved this video, please be one of my followers. I'd love you to be one of my great followers. All you need to do to that is subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and that way you'll get notified when it's all coming through with a new video. Right, let's get over now to the control box, see what we've got to do there. Right, once you've got your little faithful SD card, and then the micro SD, we're gonna flash the actual software now. So what you need to do is get to the mm, control module, and the control module is in here so let's just take this up into behind here like so okay can you see just here by the pink plug is where you put the SD card and what they say to flash it is insert the micro SD card into the control unit the red LED will flash rapidly when the LED becomes static the software is done so let's go into it so there it is just in there we'll push it down now in and it's flashing fast. When it stops flashing, as it has, software's done. We're gonna test it now. Let's have a look. The proof of the pudding is in eating. Here we go. It hits the box. Does it open? Success. Well, I hope this video has been really helpful for you. And if it has, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That would be brilliant. And be one of my great followers. Don't forget there's a competition we're running at the moment to when we get to a thousand subscribers. So I need your help, please. I need you to get me up. I think we're currently on about 607 or 608. It's a long way. I was hoping to do it for Christmas Day for you. I've got all the prizes waiting to be sent away for you. And if you're local, I might even deliver it personally. So we'll see, but we will need your help. All you need to do first is subscribe to it and wait till the end of this video and it will tell you exactly what you need to do. Anyway, until the next video, I look forward to seeing you then. I'll be seeing you. Thanks for watching and do tell us in the comments section that you subscribed and we can then contact you if you're the winner when the prize is drawn. Quack, quack. Oops.